how's it going this is the sauce and I know what you're thinking and don't look at me like that I know I haven't had a review in like a long time and some girl stole my camera so I hadn't been able to make a review and yeah I think it's game time again got some good beers got my buddy Kyle back there my homebrew buddy he makes some good beers and uh, we're gonna be reviewing today Dogfish Head Pangea. I don't know if you can see that. It's uh, of course by Dogfish Head. And it's a Belgian strong pale ale. And what's cool about this pale ale, it's, it's brewed with an ingredient from every continent. Like, uh, what's it got? It's got uh, crystallized ginger from Australia. Crystallized ginger and uh, muscovado sugar from Africa. It's uh, like a dark, un what is it? Un Processed sugar. It's oh, supposed to have like sugar. yeah molasses like taste. Should be good. And it's got mm, what else? Basmati rice. Basmati rice. Yeah. And, uh, Asia. That, I don't know what that's going to do. It'll be interesting. What should I add to the alcohol content? It says Panji is the name of the supercontinent before the landmass is separated. We were all just one happy family. Our Pangea has a hint of a ginger and great complexity, celebrating our communal history. Drunk, cool, not cold. From a snifter or wine glass, think globally, drink globally. And it ages with the best one. So this can be aged up to... It's like one to two years. It said that? Yeah. That's not with the best of them, though. Some beers can be aged up to 25. Mm. Well, this is 7% alcohol. We got the... Uh, 1.6 ounce for I think so. 1.96 fluid ounce. We go bottle. I'm going to be using the lighter. It's going to be tough. Oh, got it. Mm. I want this one. <laughs> All right. Let's see how she pours out. Not getting as Light much color. not getting as much bubbles as I uh, as I thought. The head is it's pretty uh, soapy and not much to it. Yeah, very not really good lacing, but I'm starting to get a little head towards the end. There we go. Reddish head to it. Probably be more. Yeah, it's darker than I thought it was going to be for a Belgian pale ale. It's got that dark copper color, kind of rusty. And that, oh, I guess the head is leaving a little lace in there. See? You get a. Yeah, yeah but a lot darker than I was expecting. Smell it's fine. Maybe yeah, I smell the spice. It's spicy, and it's got um, like the spice along with that Belgian yeast strain. That I can't smell too much ginger, but I get a little sweetness that might be from the uh, the sugar. Definitely. It's it's interesting like smell. Sweet, it does, it does. Alright. Cheers. Cheers to the late Michael Crichton and the return of the sauce. Wow, that's balanced real good. That is good beer. It tastes like they use some of the other ingredients besides hops to give it that tip bitterness, you know? Because the, the bitterness that I'm tasting isn't derived from hops, I think. Maybe one of their ingredients. It, it might be the spiciness you're tasting from the ginger or pepper, I think. They they, I don't know. Did they use pepper? I think they did. White pepper use? No, that's a. I'm not sure. I definitely taste. Uh, it's kind of like a. Taste that they have, you know? Yeah, banana, not banana. and I think I get a little. Yeah, I'm tasting a ginger-like. You get that 
ginger taste in the back of your mouth. But as far as the basmati rice goes, very strong ginger. As far as the basmati rice go, I, I don't know how much of that I can taste in here so far. I think it's just mostly alcohol up there. Doesn't do much flavor. And it's also, what you can consider it an adjunct, but since they're using basmati rice, it's probably a little more expensive, you know? Okay. Different character to it. Uh, yeah, I don't think they're using it as an adjunct. Like, rice or something. Yeah. Dogfish Head is not one to put adjuncts in their beer and water, water them down and make it cheap. Yeah, yeah. So they do. It's always been quality. Out to a good beer, usually. Seven percent. I was just about to say it's balanced really well. Like the malt background and the, even the spices aren't too kind of like overwhelming. Because I there was going to be ginger and brown sugar in there. That's a lot of a lot of flavor. But they seem to blend it really well. You can taste the spices up front real quick. Mm -hmm. First taste of it kind of out. I wonder what kind of hops are in this. I didn't not I did not learn what kind of hops are in this. A Belgian style, perhaps. Uh, I'd like to have it. Yeah, so I'm using my laptop right now to record this video because, uh, as I said, I got my camera stolen. I had a party at my house, and a girl with bubblegum pink hair stole my camera. <laughs> no lie. So I haven't had a review in a while. I also picked up a Founders breakfast breakfast style that I'm probably going to review later, and I uh, had one of them, and they're really good. But as far as this beer goes, I think it's got a real clean mouthfeel, even though there's some bitterness lingering in there, which it's not that strong. But it kind of it does balance it balances out the uh, really spicy uh, first hit with mouthfeel. From it. It's not too strong carbon. No, it really, it really isn't. But the head seems to be staying there, so it's soapy, but it's got good retention. I was wrong. It tastes like you're missing somewhere. Yeah, I'd say the retention's not that great because there's really no head. Like you get an Orval and you're sipping it, and there's still that much foam in the bottom of the glass after you're done. But I'm gonna I'm say it's easy drinking. I mean, it's. It's sessionable. You c you're not going to go out and buy two of those and drink them yourself, but to share with a buddy or maybe have a whole one yourself, that'd be good. It's a good yeah. beer. Yeah, a couple glasses of these. Well, it's seven percent alcohol. That's not going to be too. It's it's higher than you. You're right. It's it's not a, a barley wine. Mm -hmm. But I'd uh, I'd give this a double thumbs. I'm really enjoying this beer. It's something different, something I don't usually try. Like, It's interesting that they bring all the ingredients from different continents. Yeah, that does add a little novelty factor to it. That's pretty really cool. Try it. So I, I'd recommend this beer. Picked it up at the Grape and Gourmet. Well, tune in next time for yeah. Ale Homebrew Review. This has been the Return of the Sauce, and happy drinking, guys. I'll be back.